Hey guys, welcome to another episode of VTech Academy. You're about to get schooled. For today's episode, we're gonna start off with a little bit of a lecture. A lot of people have asked me about using a Hondata with a countershaft speed sensor transmission. Now, the Hondata is set up so that if you put in the countershaft speed sensor input, it can read that and know how fast the car is going. But a lot of people don't know that the V4 Hondata uh, K-Pro, if it was installed by Hondata, they also enable a vehicle speed output. So I'm gonna show you how to use that. First off, let me tell you what's going on with your ECU currently. Right now what you have is you have uh, the countershaft speed sensor or vehicle speed sensor hooked up to a wire on the engine harness side that also connects to the A-plug. That's how the ECU gets a signal knowing how fast the car is going by having either the VSS or CSS connected up to that. Everybody's adapter harness takes that signal and then outputs it to the speedometer. Usually it doesn't go straight to the speedometer. It usually goes through an ECU plug or possibly one of the uh, plugs on the left-hand shock tower. Just depends on what model you're using and, and things like that. Now, what winds up happening is if you have a countershaft speed sensor and use a normal adapter harness, what's gonna happen is when you take off, it's gonna peg the, peg the speedometer. Just absolutely, you know, you go four or five miles an hour and the speedometer reads full blast fast. So this is how uh, you get rid of that problem. The first thing you need to do is you need to disconnect this wire at the C101 plug. The C101, C101 plug is that large gray plug that interfaces between the adapter harness and the engine harness. Anyway, at position number three, which is right here, and you have to bear in mind that when you're looking at wires and you want to know what number it is, you look at the, uh, if you look at the female plug, you turn the plug around backwards so you see them where the wires are coming out the back side. If you're looking at the male plug, you turn it so it's facing you so the prongs are pointing at you. But if you count from the top over one, two, three, that's gonna be this white green wire, which is your uh, VSS signal. We're gonna pluck that out. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a whole new wire and we're gonna plug this wire into C101 after we've pulled these out. By the way, you, when you pull them out, don't cut them, usually uh, what I like to just kind of put a piece of tape on them, and stick them in the harness, so uh, maybe you might want to change back at some point later on. But uh, after you unplug that, you're going to stick this new wire in, and then the other end of the wire is going to go all the way over to the B plug. Now on the B plug, you're going to have to plug that in to the position B9, or I'm sorry, B11. <laughs> Push it into B11. So uh, again, looking at the B plug, you're going to be looking at it from the wire side because it's a female connector. Uh, it's one through seven across the top, then nine, uh, then eight, nine, 10, and 11. So right above this gap in the plug, that's gonna be position number 11. So you're gonna need to uh, have the proper end crimped on and plugged in that spot. And that's gonna allow you to uh, um, get the vehicle speed output to your speedometer, because now the 11 will be outputting the signal and it'll go to that. Now you can adjust that signal uh, by adjusting a percentage in the software on the Han data. Uh, we showed you how to do that in one of the previous videos when we were showing you how to tune your speedometer to get it uh, proper. We'll have a link below in the show notes if you want to know what video that is. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to do one real quick just to kind of show you how it works. I have here an RSX Type S harness that I'm actually going to be using in one of our project cars and I will be converting it over to uh, CSS. Now, uh, that video will be coming later. Uh, let's start off though with uh, opening up the C101 plug. This is a C101 plug and this particular side is a side that's on the engine. So on the engine side, it's female plug. So when we're uh, deciding which wire to pull out, we look at the wire side and we're gonna count. So we wanna pull out, pull out the number three pin on the C101 plug. So starting upper left, it's one, two, three. It's this white green wire right here. Uh, by the way, if you want to know a little bit more about depinning these plugs, there is actually another quick tip video that goes through how to depin these plugs and does a really nice job of explaining what's going on in here so that you can easily, I say that, easily depin these plugs and look like you actually know what you're doing. 
whoa, that one should have depend. All right, so now I have this one out. Now, what I'm going to do with that is I'm actually going to put a little piece of shrink tube on it. And I'm going to lay it back in here and just kind of wrap it up. That way, if I ever decide to go back to a uh, vehicle speed sensor, I still have that wire there. Uh, so now that's out, I need to add my new wire in. This is our new wire. I chose blue white because that is the color of a vehicle speed output on the RSX. So strip it back. I have some pins right here. This particular one is the one for the C101 plug. It's a male plug, or a male, I'm sorry, female pin uh, for my female connector here. I'm going to crimp it down real quick. Give it a good tug, make sure it's not loose. Slide it into position. Now I can place the lock back in there. By the way, I cut this piece of wire about 12 inches long. 12 inches should uh, allow me to lay it back up in here, wrap around, and come back down to my B-plug. Here's my B-plug right here. First thing we need to do is undo the lock. You just pry up on these little openings here. Again, there's a video on how to do this in the quick tips. Uh, now, I don't need to depin anything because there's actually nothing in position number 11. If you remember, it's the wire right above this, uh, this uh, space right here. There's a space where there's no wire. The one right above that, I've got the plug upside down, so it's below it in this particular instance. So now what I'm going to do is crimp the right end on here. These pins, by the way, these terminals, they're available through several different companies. Uh, if you look down in the show notes, there will be links to where to buy them. Uh, they're not terribly expensive. In fact, shipping is going to be far more than the pin is. This is just a 22 gauge wire. Okay, we've got that done. I'm going to route it so it'll be easy to tape up. Now I'm going to plug it in here. Okay, it's locked in. My lock, the uh, lock on the uh, connector is now pressed down. All I need to do is clean this up by stripping the tape back and taping it down in there, and uh, insulating this and getting it out of the way, and I finish. Once everything's wired up, installed in the car, next thing we need to do is upload the correct uh, parameters to our computer. So we're hooked up right now, ignition on. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come to parameters right here, click on that. That's gonna open up this screen over here. From here, we go to miscellaneous. And on miscellaneous, we can come down here to where it says normal speed sensor, or right below that, counter shaft driven speed sensor. So we're gonna select that. And if you look down here, there's actually a speedometer correction. We have a video on the YouTube, on the VTech Academy YouTube channel telling you how to use that. Once you've got that done, you need to upload the program by hitting this up arrow right here. Don't forget to save it. Now our program is uploaded to our computer and we're ready to go. As we drive around, we're gonna notice that we have the correct signal coming to our instrument cluster and it's not gonna like try to peg the instrument cluster off the bat. Uh, anyway, uh, this video actually came about because of a question we got on our VTech Academy Midnight Oil. Every Tuesday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we actually have a live YouTube show where we answer questions from the audience. If you'd like to join us, please do. Anytime, uh, again, it's on Tuesday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, drop in and uh, ask your questions in the uh, in the comment section on the side and we'll be happy to answer them for you. Anyway, uh, if you get a chance, please head on over to the vtechacademy.com website and check out some of the cool merchandise we have. Sales from that help support our projects. Also, if you like what you saw, you know, think about sharing with a friend and even subscribing to our channel. Uh, anytime you subscribe, that actually helps bring us to more people. Thank you very much for joining me.